Hi everybody, welcome back to the Padded Pedal Room. In uh, this episode, we're going to take another look at the Boss R2. This time, we're going to take a look at it with bass. We'll mention here that Sloppy Joe asked how it would sound with bass. This pedal was not necessarily designed for bass. However, what we're going to try and do in this episode, we're going to try and load a bass uh, cabinet IR that I have and then test it out on the bass to see if it sounds reasonably well. We're going to start by setting the IR2 into USB. So if we're going to put it in USB mode, we got to turn the power off. So I unplug the jack from the IR2 and now basically we're going to turn the ambience, the level and the gain counterclockwise, the bass, the mid, the treble clockwise. I'm going to set the type knob to crunch and then make sure this is here, this is here. Okay, so we're going to hold this down and turn it on and then it was blinking orange five times. Okay, so now it's in USB mode. This is a Mac, so we're going to set it to the twin all right so let's set the twin press the pedal switch this saves the setting also check indicator rapidly blinks red all right Okay, so we set it in USB mode, from what I can see. Now let me see if I can open in my apps the IR loader. It is not seeing the pedal. Why is it not seeing the pedal? Because it is not plugged into USB. So let's plug it into USB. Now that we've plugged it into USB, we see here that it is visible. So. IR2. Okay, perfect. I've saved all this to a file, so I have my backup. And I've fooled around with it just a little bit to try and figure it out a little bit, which, so you can always back it up and just restore your default IR in here. Just click a button and it'll restore it. All right, well, I really like what it sounds like in uh, the clean mode. Let's give it a try in all the modes, actually. Since we have uh, the IR loaded in all the slots of the of every amp in, in the IR2, we're going to do a quick uh, little uh, lick that will run through all the different modes. I'm going to turn my mic off so that there's no bleed, and we'll just listen to the IR. I'm going to leave the settings here the same for all the, uh, the test.
All right. Well, same as the acoustic, I find that it works best in the uh, amp settings that are lower gain. Some of them, as you get up a little bit, actually sound pretty decent with a little bit of a little bit of uh, crunch, I guess. But as you get further into the higher gain, it just doesn't sound right with the bass. Uh, definitely adding the bass IR in here uh, makes it work because with the regular IRs, I tested it before going on camera and it's not made for that. But if you get yourself a good IR that you like, I mean, in this case, I'm using a 1x15. You may prefer an 8x10 or, or, or something of the sort. This is the IR that I purchased from Celestian, uh, 1x15 for my bass. And it sounds pretty good. You know, if you put a little bit of compression to your taste and then certain things, I think you can get a pretty decent sound out of it. At very least, as a, as a, as a decent backup in case you're stuck, I'll let you judge to see if you like it or not. So I hope this helped you, Sloppy Joe. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next video.